This video is brought to you by Skillshare. What's up guys, salut, this is Alex. Welcome back to the Mother Sources series. Now if you remember well in the previous episode, I basically got knighted by a three Michelin star chef who said that he liked the little jus that I made. Mais de grande qualité. I think I've done my homework with the reduction sauces, but today's episode is about emulsion sauces. So think mayonnaise, for example, or think maybe the real reason why you love Eggs Benedict so much. Sauce hollandaise. Hollandaise sauce. Yes, sauce hollandaise is that mother sauce, that star of your Sunday morning Eggs Benedict. Sexy, trickling over poached eggs, down on salty smoked bacon. Never ends, to be honest. Sauce hollandaise is a mother sauce, and if you fully want to understand it, there is no better place to learn from it than in the mighty Escoffier cookbook, which I have been extensively using since the start of this series. Introduction, blah, blah, blah. Grand sauces, basically mother sauces. Sauce espagnol, that's episode four. Velouté, that's episode six. Huh? Huh? That's weird. Oh, there you go. Sauce hollandaise. It's classified in the uh, small sauces, like daughter sauces. I thought it was a mother sauce. That's, that's what I've been reading online everywhere. It's very weird. Anyways, that's not gonna stop me. Sauce hollandaise, the traditional way. That's what we're doing right now. So even though that sauce should be called a, a suspension, we won't damage it by just calling it, more simply, an emulsion, okay? So that means just tiny droplets of oil swimming in an ocean of water. So as you may already know, oil and water don't mix. The two phases separate oil sitting on top of water. You could shake it vigorously or whisk it vigorously, but the mix is never gonna be stable unless you use an emulsifier, egg, Yolks. They're gonna hold the whole mix together and they're gonna allow it to remain stable-ish because sauce hollandaise still is a bit finicky, okay? Let's start the recipe. First, you need to melt and clarify 250 grams of unsalted butter. Clarifying is getting rid of the foam on top and the residues at the bottom. Now separate four eggs as we just need the yolks here. Place a heatproof bowl on top of a saucepan to create a double boiler, as known as a French bain-marie. Now whisk the egg yolks over low heat until they start thickening and getting paler. Very, very carefully add some clarified butter in. Please, please don't stop whisking, otherwise this is gonna happen. Ah, putain de putain de... Let's stop for a second, because there's no recovery from what I just did. The sauce split. The Hollandaise sauce is not a sauce no more. It's just a pool of melted butter with little blobs of cooked egg yolk. Yes, I am mad, but no, this did not happen for no reason. Reason number one, heat control. I'm using a double boiler, as known as a bain-marie, and it's supposed to protect whatever food you cook. However, it's not magical. You still get loads of heat, especially if the water is boiling underneath. If you ever pass 65 degrees Celsius or 149 degrees Fahrenheit, the egg yolks are gonna cook. That's basically game over. The second reason, it requires your attention. You can't just go and faff around on your desktop looking for whatever bike you want to buy next. You need to stay there like the lion cook you are and keep on whisking, keep on whisking, keep on whisking, keep on whisking. That's the only thing you gotta do, but if you don't do it, this is gonna happen. I'm glad I did that mistake. I might have done this on purpose, you'll never know. If this happens to you, take this, discard it, and start fresh. And that is exactly what I'm about to do. Okay, back to it. Butter, egg yolks, double boiler, yada yada yada. Now very carefully add the clarified butter in and keep on whisking. When you get the texture you want, just season it with a bit of salt. The final touch is a generous squeeze of lemon, which in my eyes is the keystone to a great Hollandaise sauce. It's a beautiful sauce. So as much as I want to taste it like straight away, I want to just dump my face into this beautiful, warm, silky, smooth, lemony sauce. I can't do that. 
This needs a ship to just land upon. <laughs> the worst metaphor ever. Anyways, I need to make Eggs Benny to go with this, okay? Because I think Eggs Benedict might be the best way to showcase that sauce. Let's just make Eggs Benedict. Sponsor time. Let's talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. With Skillshare, you can explore new skills, deepen existing passion, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that comes with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions not thousands, millions. So at the moment I'm following a class in photography where Amelie Satzker is teaching me how to create compelling creative and conceptual photos using nothing but the camera on my phone. This class is fascinating. At a time where so many important conversations are happening in our world, your voice is more essential than ever. Explore classes to unlock your creativity for social good. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. To poach an egg, I usually leave it for 4 minutes in boiling hot water but off the heat. The only thing you need to keep in mind is use the freshest organic egg you can get your hands on. It's gonna make the difference. Now, fry up some bacon and toast an English muffin, not a cupcake. Assembling the eggs benedict is very straightforward, but you can top it off to make it pretty with a bit of chive or cayenne pepper. And basically, that's it. That's the dish you want every Sunday morning. Salty bacon, anxious poached egg, lemony, silky, Hollandaise sauce. These little chives bring a little naughty, garlicky hint. There's no question about this dish. It's an amazing one. Ex Benedict are one of the most indulgent, one of the absolute best Sunday morning breakfast you could ever dream of. Problem is, who has time for this on Sunday morning? So that is basically the traditional method. Is it amazing? Yes. Does it taste delicious? It does. But it doesn't come without problem. I've been doing a little math and 5 plus 4 at least at 42 minutes just to make one ex benedict. 42 minutes. Second, it's f***ing messy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 12 to 15 things that I need to wash up afterwards. It's a bloody mess. I feel like I was British for a second. It's just a bloody mess. And the third problem is that this method is not even foolproof. <laughs> Anyways, I think you do get my point. The process required to make sauce hollandaise and so uh, eggs benedict is just old fashioned, cumbersome and so temperamental. I want to turn this process into something foolproof, something reliable and something very, very very fast. So that's basically the plan for the next episode. I want to set up a new record. Take care, bye-bye. Salut.